Hello, welcome to another video for uh, repairing a Walkman and this is a Panasonic Walkman it's the SX65 um, the problem with this is as with any other Walkman it doesn't rewind and play back so I have already opened it so that would just save the time getting to it. Once it's all open you will see a board like this uh, on a Panasonic you will need to desolder one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points here. One, two, two of them there. Another one there. You can probably see if I zoom in, maybe. Yeah, let me show you if I can zoom in. There we are. Yeah, that's better. So we've got seven points here. Those need to come off. That one needs to come off. That one needs to come off. That one needs to come off. These three need to come off. On this particular Walkman, these three need to come off, and these come off as well. That would just loosen the PCB. And also, there'll be screws here. So there'll be a screw one here, and there would be one here, one here, and one here. So pretty much, it's a bit of a you know, just see any screws they see on a PCB, just open them all up. The motor on a Panasonic has a magnet sitting on top as well so you need to take the washer off which is looks like this here we go like that is the washer it sits on it like that and then that sits there that needs to come off as well once that's all off you lift the PCB gently place it there you'll see two belts one on this side and one on this side. So we need to replace two belts, the long one and the short one. So I've taken them out. Just going to put the short one back on onto the motor. So it's advisable to clean the. Sometimes what happens is that the belts that you're going to remove may be sticking and may be melted. So you want to probably clean them all out with using some contact cleaner or something, you know, just to make sure it's all nice and clean and it evaporates and doesn't leave any residue behind. And then one here. Hopefully this belt should be the right size. Yeah, that's all in. So yeah, that seems to be going all right. Right, so these two ones, these are all in. And just put them back in. Now I have my doubts on the uh, the size of that belt one the second I replaced. I'm thinking that's a little loose for my liking, so I'm going to change that to a slightly different one to make sure that it's the right size. Yeah, that's better. It's got a lot more tents. The belt usually should have a bit of tension on it. So it shouldn't be loose. Once it has tension, you know that this has been put in correctly. And I'm going to wrap this down. Now it's definitely in. That's in. So we're going to put this back on on the motor. And put the uh, washer back on. And there we go. The washer's back on. And that's pretty much it. That's done now. Going to put the uh, the board back on. This one has a little additional piece to it as well, which I need to make sure that goes down in the correct way, in the way it was taken out. And that goes there. And it sits in with 
the board itself uh, from what I see. Hmm. Okay, that will go in there. Yeah, and that one like that. Alright, so that's all in now. In its place. Yep, all we now need to do is first we need to fasten the screws back on because we don't want to solder it before we put the um, joints back on. We need to make sure that the uh, and the PCB actually does go back in its place and all the, the points are clearly coming out as they should. There we go. This one and a little single last one is here. Here we are. So that's all in now. I'm just going to put all the joints back on. And hopefully we should actually see a um, working walkman. Let's see. So let's carefully put all these joints back in. Those are all back in. So always see if you see any joints that is um, that has got a bit of uh, corrosion on it. Always good to heat it up and join it back again. And that's it. That's done. That's done. Last time, last time. There you have it. So we've got three of those, three of those, three of those, one of those, one of those, one of those, one of those there. And that's it. And all of those points are all in. Yep. Right. And they're all good. All we have to do is put the Walkman back in its case. So it was removed. There we are. And that goes back in. There we go. It's all back in its place. I'll just adjust this slightly so you can see. Yeah, there we are. So that's all in. And what we're going to do is put the screws back in. Which are very important because Without the screws, you don't want to turn it on because any if you put any cassettes in it, it's going to fall out. So, but the two long ones were at the bottom. Remember all the screws that come out. You must remember where they go because they can damage the. Um, the inside, if it's a, if it's a wrong size, goes into the wrong area. Usually, the longer ones are the top and the bottom, 
and the shorter ones are on the side. The side ones actually hold the brackets for the cassette. And this one here, I'm going to put the lid back on. So here we go. That comes off, so we're going to just slide the lid back on. The lid is now on and goes back in, comes back out. To try and put the battery back in. This Walkman has been in storage for a while, even though it's good as new. So what we're going to do now is find a cassette. I can already hear the noise. If it's playing as it should, because that's what we hope for. There we are. And once that plays, we have successfully added the new belt. Here we, here we go. Yep, it's working now. Yep, seems to be working. So, yep, and that's how you would replace a belt on a Panasonic Walkman. Thanks for watching and uh, do subscribe. You'll come up with uh, if you have any other questions, do ask, and I'll be coming back with some more fixes. And yep, this is all working perfect. Thank you for watching. And um, do subscribe. Thank you. Bye.